Hello Year 5, Mr Bristow here and this is the work for week 3, Thursday for the yellow group. As you can see, Thursday the 21st of January and today we are going to be evaluating a source of evidence. Now, you might have been thinking so far this week, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, what are, why am I doing this? What are we going to be doing as our final piece of writing? Well, I can reveal that to you today. Next week, you are going to be writing a short piece of text, which is going to be made up of four paragraphs. In paragraph one, you are going to be telling your reader what happened in the lunar landing. So all the things you did the other day about timelining, those are going to be the events you use to write a paragraph to tell your reader what happened, the facts. Your second paragraph, you are going to write about why or what evidence suggests that the lunar landings were real. So you're going to say, many people believe the lunar landings were real because. And exactly the same with your third paragraph, except that time you will be talking about why the lunar landings are fake. And then in your fourth and concluding paragraph, you are going to tell me your opinion. I think that it is real or it is fake and because. So they're not going to be overly long paragraphs, but it's really, really important that you understand the sources. Because there's no use in you telling me what you think without some scientific proof or some proof to back up your arguments. Because that's what everyone's going to look for. So today we are going to spend some more time on the sources to make sure that we really understand them and we can use them to the best of our ability in our writing next week. So your task number one is to look at and reevaluate the sources you looked at yesterday and see which ones you think are the strongest pieces of evidence and what are the weakest. Now this is really important because you don't want to be using weak evidence in your writing. You want to be using the ones that you place up here, the strong evidence, because the strong evidence is going to be the one that changes your reader's mind. So, for example, Mr. Bristow's reading it. You, I think that the lunar landings were fake, but reading your paragraph, I changed my mind. The only reason and way I'm going to change my mind is if you give me the best evidence first. Okay, You don't want to start off with, because he said so. You want to start off with the strongest piece of evidence. Okay, So, you will have on your page, up the top, the strongest piece of evidence. And then you're going to rank as many sources as you said yesterday were real from strongest to weakest. So I'm going to model that now. Here, I only have two pieces of evidence. I have evidence eight and evidence seven. So I've said both of these suggest that the lunar landings were real. American astronauts left mirrors on the surface of the moon and scientists on Earth have fired lasers at the mirrors since. Or evidence seven, rockets, the rockets that America sent were tracked by several countries using radar. So now I need to decide which one of these is a stronger piece of evidence? Which one of these would make a better argument in my writing? So I think I'm going to put number seven first, and I will tell you why. Because it says here, most importantly, several countries. And several countries means more than one. So if I tell my reader that the moon landings were real, because several countries were tracking the rocket via radar, that is going to be a really, really compelling piece of evidence. And compelling means a good piece of evidence that will help with my argument. Whereas if I were just to say some scientists have fired lasers, that's not as powerful because it's not whole countries, it's a couple of scientists. Who are you more likely to believe? A whole country telling you something or just some scientists so I've decided for real that seven is better than eight 
Now you might have found four, five, six, seven, eight, lots of pieces that you've said suggest the lunar landings were real and you are going to have the opportunity to, to rank all of them. You might not agree. For you personally, you might think eight is better than seven. So if you pause the video and take some time to rank your sources that you looked at yesterday from strongest to weakest and then you can press play when you're ready to move on to the next bit. Okay, so hopefully by now you would have ranked uh, your sources in terms of strongest to weakest for the real. And now you are going to do the same for fake. So here I have evidence for Bill Casing worked at the company where the engines for the moon rocket were being made. He claimed that the rockets didn't work properly. He was an engineer, not a scientist. In the picture taken of astronauts on the surface of the moon, there's no stars visible. Hmm. Now, which one of these do I think is more powerful? I probably am going to go for number five. And the reason I'm going to go for number five is these were officially published pictures of the lunar landings with no stars in. Whereas this is just one man. One man says it's not real. So I think it's more believable a source taken from the time an actual photo of apparently the men on the moon is more influential in an argument and more important to my argument than a man who might have just been really grumpy on the day, if that makes sense. So one man isn't necessarily believable, but a photo taken on the day might be. So I'd like you to now pause the video again and complete the same activity, this time using the sources that you said yesterday showed that the lunar landings were fake. Okay, so hopefully you've done both of those sorting activities and you now know what your strongest piece of evidence is. And now you can use that evidence to help inform your decision. So you are now going to fill in this paragraph. I think the lunar landings were, and you're either going to put real or you might put fake, and then you are going to say because. So basically you might use your first or first, second and third piece of evidence to help you. So I personally think the lunar landings were fake because oh, the lunar landings were fake because in one of the pictures of the men in space, there are no stars. If the picture was taken on the moon, you would expect to see some. So there you go. I'm using my strongest piece of evidence, this one, as a reason why I think the lunar landings were fake. And that is your final task for today, to fill in that on your sheet. And once you've done that, don't forget to send your sorting of the real, sorting of the fake, and this paragraph to your teacher on your class email.